Before I go to I want to sell this. There's two sides of music in Jamaica. You have one side for the culture, music. You have a next side where the dance hall. You have some people who love as rock. You know, all type of things. But we choose for the culture. You see? I think the culture artists them are some of the biggest bumbo cloth hypocrite them in our music business. Them are one of the biggest reasons why we business stay how it stay. The culture, so-called culture artists them. Who know I make it bad for people who try in our music to do the right thing. In a them personal life and in a them public life. We don't live one life in a public I want to live one next one now, private. And uh, that's are the repercussions we are making things tear it tear when it look like the bad artists them good and the good artists them bad. Everything have an expiration date. See, I'm look good. I'm move no blood clot and go. I want to ask me with walking stick and blood clot. Nah, no, I don't know what I do next. A music alone, somehow we do. We don't have no other source, we don't have no other reason for disrespect or to try to tell nobody what to do. I hate the way how Mr. Jamaica go. As a person who lives in this and born and grew in this and know say yeah, Jamaica worth fighting for. I'm tired of the pussy wall them now. We have the ground and I make it look like say where well, all are we do in vain. Men are ranting for media and the system me come about. Who don't know about make me go start but do what everybody else I do. Because at this point I will really get fucked boy. Yeah. Me I go rogue in me I go, go rogue. But me no blood clot ready yet, and me no want no one to force me. Me I take my time, I take care of myself, I deal with my personal issues them, and I prepare myself for this ras clot where I come. No better get ready and people will have sense pay attention, cause I be a fuck where I go on, and it deliberate and they know who I do it. And want quiet way. Because we dare for talk. You hear me? Open your eye and see for yourself. Open your eye and see for yourself. Hello, my beautiful fans on TikTok. Mostly to my young fans. Um, today is Marcus Garvey's birthday. Marcus Garvey is our first national hero. Someone who was born here in Jamaica and became one of the world's greatest world leaders. A leader of the black race. I just want to say happy birthday, Marcus. You know, thank you so much for what you did for us as a people. And there's so much of your quotings and your wordings that I could say right now, but one of them I really want to say is that black people won't know themselves until them back is against the wall and Jamaican people. If we back not against the wall now, it will never be. You understand what I'm say? And I think we back is firmly placed against the wall right now. And as a people, we're sleeping. We're not aware of what's happening around us. There's so much wickedness happening around us here in Jamaica. And we're not aware of it, you know. And I know that a lot of the corruption exists because Jamaicans are not aware of the level of corruption that is around us as a people. So on this Marcus Garvey birthday, I'm not even going to say much. I'm just going to say... Thank you, Marcus. Thank you very much for what you did for us as a people. And I'm really praying that we get our shit together 
as a black nation, a beautiful, strong black race, and really deal with the things that are affecting us as a people. We young people, them are perish while we busy selling out, you know? And you know who Queen Africa is, you know what I do. You know, I'll never stop using my platform, using my voice to speak on behalf of my beautiful, wonderful people, country, Jamaica. So again, happy birthday, Marcus Garvey. Thank you so much. All my young people, go look up Marcus and see the stuff that he said and try to implement some of them in your lives. See? Love you guys so much. Big up. <laughs> yeah, man, the struggle continue, you know? And the revolution, Africa kick. No matter how long it take. And we're ready. Mm -hmm. Big up, Marcos. Yeah, be. Vloggers. Vloggers. People who like to talk about people. For good reasons, for bad reasons. I just feel that energy if you say something. I did it on my next IG page already. A couple of years ago when I spoke about vloggers and bloggers who just want to put up anything them feel of mine about artists and whoever them feel like it. but artists are the biggest targets while I watch some of them I'll call out some of them where me personally like like Mouta Masi I like Mix Up Time I like Fame Edgers seeing there are a few more names that I could call, but I'm talking about the popular ones then. That really report on everything else that everybody else reports on, but there is a sense of responsibility in how they do it. For a good while now, I'm kind of noticing that most people that say them love Jamaica is only say them saying. Because there's so many good things happening in Jamaica, but you don't see it. You don't see it being published are talked about a lot are going viral i am overseas and every time i pick my phone up to look at anything jamaica it is so disgusting to see what is said that is happening in jamaica and it's not like some of what is said is not happening for real but how it is said and how it is put across to the bigger world i think make a big difference in how people view jamaica because the truth is, Jamaica has changed over the years where crime and violence is concerned. But it's not immune to Jamaica alone. It, everywhere in the world you go, you're going to have pockets of that society that have violence and have issues like that they have to deal with. So some of you vloggers and bloggers out there, we know, yeah, it's a medium to get your voice out there. Some of us are do it for the money we want to make and the views them and so. Oh, Sir P. Yeah, I kind of check for Sir P to an to a extent with what I'm doing too. See? Just love Jamaica for true. Report on Jamaica for real. Report on everything about Jamaica. Not just the negatives that artists and other people are doing. But find some, find a day when you say good news out of Jamaica day. You understand what I'm saying? I make it look like I say everything about Jamaica does crime and violence and wickedness. And that alone are going to Jamaica. More good things are going to Jamaica than bad. It just now highlighted. See, so somehow no can just go start make some of them good things about Jamaica viral too. Yeah, me just did feel for say that. Who here here? Jamaica. My wonderful country, Jamaica. I got something to tell ya. Tell ya. Wall up your head, keep it up in the sky. Them want your blood, them want to drain you dry. Jamaican people. These last three months of this 2022 is so significant to you guys, to us as Jamaicans. If we don't open our eyes right now and look at the trap that is set for that island, our island Jamaica. What is the trap, Queen Africa? The trap is that someone out there is looking for a riot out of Jamaica and an unrest, a civil unrest. They're working on a controlled civil unrest in Jamaica. Mark, 
my word, the Queen of England didn't die on the 8th of September by accident. So you guys in Jamaica often know that in order for the new world order to be established, Jamaica has to be on board. Where are the warriors of Jamaica? Where are the freedom fighters for Jamaican people, where is, <laughs> where is the voices of the people of Jamaica that all of this matters to? The very, very helpless youths in all of these communities that were set up to keep them the way they are today, what they call ghettos and inner cities. They are now turning our rural communities also into ghettos and inner cities. They're turning us into subjects in Jamaica right now, Jamaican people. They're turning us into subjects. Are we going to choose God? Or are we going to continue to dance with the devil, Jamaican people? I know it's going to be said that some of us are ridiculous and we should stop saying these things because Jamaica is good. Jamaica, it's coming. It's coming, you know. The problem, the trouble is coming. And it is us as a people who will have to deal with it when they shall all fly out in them pretty vehicles and gone where they will feel comfortable and relaxed. Don't give Jamaica to the devil. Whatever you do, Jamaican people, hold on to God. Don't let in the devil no further in our sight, in our being, in our family them. Rise up, Jamaican people, and show the world that so we are first.